Good morning, happy Friday. Today we are coming at you with a special edition of our HIT class. This is going back to our actual in-work, in-class workouts. We have a Warrior Days coming up. So keep your water bottle close by. We'll be going over more details of how we're gonna make this easier for you guys and easier for me to coach. Um, so the rep counts gonna be more about timing, but let's get rolling. Take a seat. We're gonna start with some ground activation. So sit down on your butts. We're gonna go ahead and go into slow hip lifts. So plant the feet down, arms across your chest and we are gonna slowly hip lift up. Don't worry about how many reps you guys are doing, just focus on that stretch. Feet are planted though. Pause at the top, feel your hips stay neutral, really get your shoulders to put the weight back there. Lift all the way up so your shoulders take the weight. From here, we're gonna go just the center. You guys are gonna give me five reps to V-sit rollover, just the center. We'll do the other ones later, but right now just shoot down the middle. Tuck your chin, get as much momentum as you can. For those of you on YouTube, we need a pair of dumbbells, by the way, anything between a pair that's gonna be five to 12 and a half pounds or one bell that's a little bit heavier. After those five, we're gonna go back to the ground, but now we're gonna do a hamstring-based uh, hip lift. So bring the heels out further, toes are pointing up, and we're gonna lift through the heel now. This hamstring's turned on, you can iso hold at the top a little bit. And now we're gonna do the rollover series, but not the center. We're gonna go left, right, left, right, back and forth. When you're ready, guys, go ahead. Tuck in the opposite leg as best you can. Looking good. All right, we're gonna go back to the center rollover series, but this time, instead of just reaching forward between our feet, you're gonna see a man and reach your hands straight up overhead. It's gonna be like that, um, that Z press that we used to do. So roll over and then reach up this time. Try to get your hips, shoulders, wrists, everything's a straight line. Go ahead and get five more of those down the, down the center. Breathing out on the way up. All right, as you guys finish that one, we're gonna go into a side leg raise. Plant yourself under that side stack. Ankles are stacked, hips are stacked. Top leg first. Breathing out on the way up. Get a few more reps and then go ahead and plant the top leg in front of your bottom and then raise the bottom leg up. Work on those adductors, your IT band, all that stuff. After a few more reps, roll on over and do the opposite side when you're ready. You're gonna want that fan. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get that bottom leg if you haven't already. All right, guys, now we're gonna go into a, not yet, we're not gonna do five hydrants yet. We're gonna go into that sprinter lunge. So go ahead and sit yourself up, one knee down, one foot in front of you. I'll have Amanda show real quick. And then from here, lean forward, fall all the way forward. We're gonna take the inside hand and reach up and look at the ceiling. So you're gonna take your right hand. And we're gonna reach up, breathing out on the way up. You can actually let your vision follow. So think about it this way. If you're left, you can start doing reps there. If your right knee is in front, that means you're taking your right hand and you're reaching that up to open up your T-spine. Morning, Mel. <laughs> and after you guys do a few more reps here, we're gonna go ahead and switch. So shift your weight back, put the opposite foot in front, take that inside hand again and start to do that opening up reach. Breathing out. You can let your vision follow that hand on the way up. As you guys finish a few more reps there, we're gonna put both knees down, shift your hips back, put your head through your arms, and do that lat stretch. So we're gonna open up side to side. Breathing out, let your knees kinda of cave in and collapse. Tuck the chin. You can be there for a little bit, but when you're ready, you can start to reach your hands back and forth. Take your time here, guys. Breathe out, control it. And then we're gonna go ahead and lay down on our stomach. So you can lay down flat and then put your feet up above your knees so your feet are stacked. And we'll do that windshield wiper. So just go ahead and start to wipe that windshield wipe back and forth. So your top leg is going over and back, over and back. Let your spine relax a little bit. From there, we're gonna shift our weight back into that bulldog position for the fire hydrants. We're gonna go alternating. So left to right, left to right, open up the hips and swing them back and forth. Ankles flexed, arms are straight. Stay balanced, 
Don't let the elbows lock out. Try to control with your chest as much as you can. Keeping both hands down, let's go ahead and bring one leg straight back behind us. It's a single leg, straight leg raise back behind you. Both hands stay down. Feel that glute contract, feel your core stay tight. Pull your belly up. We're gonna do three more seconds and switch sides. And two, one, and switch. Looking good. All right, now we are gonna go into a side leg raise. So keep yourself in that bulldog position, bring one leg off to the side, and now we're gonna raise that one up. Before we switch sides, go ahead and plant that foot in the bottom. I mean, I know I'm throwing this one at you, but now from here, try to sit yourself upright. And from there, now you see Amanda's one leg is kicked out like a, uh, like a kickstand. And then feel your hips. You can kind of shift your weight around, sink your hips back if you need to. But stretch out that one leg, that one groin. You can put your hands back down and play with that spot. Find how much you can open up your hip and relax and stretch out the inside hamstring. And then we're going to switch sides when you're ready. By the way, if you need to hold on to this a little bit longer, by all means do it. But when you're ready to switch, plant that foot back underneath you. Kick your opposite leg out to your side. Zoom people, you're doing this pretty well. I'm seeing everyone doing it right. Get a few reps of that pulse first. After you feel like you activated enough, go ahead and plant that leg back down. And you play with your spot. You can put your hands down. You can sink your hips back. You can stretch forward. Do something that helps you feel like you're getting a good stretch out of this. All right. From there, let's go ahead and stand up. Don't worry, man. We're still warming up. <laughs> All right. Next thing we're going to do is just a simple toe touch to overhead reach. You're going to reach down for the straight leg, get this hamstring stretch, and then bring your hands up overhead. Good morning. <laughs> I love saying that. Keep on breathing out on the way up. Get your hands like literally reach, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then we're going to do what we did last class, which is that squat to that across and reach. Get the feet planted wide, squat down and reach up across your body. Breathing out, slow, big ones. Looking good. All right, we're going to get really wide now. Get those feet super wide, point your, foot, your feet out away from you. Sink into that squat, hold it for a little bit down the center, and then you can play by shifting back and forth. But get deep. Make sure your feet are not collapsing. You do not want to use that inside foot pad that falls forward. Arch your foot, rotate them out. Get that corkscrew movement in there. And you guys can go back and forth, staying low. All right, and then you go ahead and you can keep your, hip, your hips high. Fold yourself over, get those hamstrings involved. And then when you're done doing that high hip lift, it's kind of like a hamstring strengthener and like flexibility movement, go ahead and stand yourself up. All right, we're gonna start with movement now. So we're gonna go in and gate swings first. I know we did a lot of those yesterday. These are slow, you don't need to crush these things. Drop in wide, pop up straight when you're ready. Let's get that movement going. That's fine. <laughs> Man, are you stuck down there? You're in quicksand. <laughs> hey, we're gonna go now into a forward lunge, then a reverse lunge. So lunge forward first, same leg that goes forward, bring it back behind you. So that swing right back through. Get as many reps as you feel comfortable with. Opposite arm, opposite leg, get yourself in a rhythm. We're gonna switch to the opposite side in three, two, and one. Go ahead, opposite way. Sink into that. You can let your knee tap if you need to, that's fine. Three, two, and one. All right, let's pick it up. We got butt kickers now. We are gonna be driving our heel back towards our butt, knees stay low. Go ahead and get yourself rolling. Breathing out, kicking up. Keep it up. We're gonna switch to that knee drive. This is slow, don't go fast. Go big and slow in two, one. Drive the knees up now. Three, Two and one. All right. Shake it out for a second. Guys, we're gonna go into those small little shoulder circles. So palms out underneath your shoulders and start to rotate here. Make sure the hands are not higher than your shoulders. The elbow is slightly lower. You're pulling it away from your neck. And then when you're ready, open it up big. Feel free to, you know, get some calf raises in there. You can just stretch out your calves or your shins, Nancy. 
<laughs> Stretch it out. And then when you're ready, guys, reverse it. Switch the palms to the opposite direction and get rolling. All right. Now we're going to get into our jack series. Let's get those palms facing the camera. Open up each time. We got regular jacks when you're ready. Big ones. Here we go. We're going to be switching to that seal jack in three, two, and one. Seal jacks in and out. Feel your shoulder blades retract and then collapse on the way in. Come on. All right. Flings in two, one, the crisscross, back and forth. Looking good, guys. Three, two, and one. All right. Catch your breath for a second. Get some water if you need to. I lost, I lost my demonstrator. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you guys are getting that water, feel free to take your time off. This one, I'm gonna do a lot of explaining in the beginning. My Zoom people already heard it. Today is a Warrior Days. Melanie, you didn't hear that earlier, so surprise. How the Warrior Days is gonna work is it's not gonna be rep count. There's gonna be an ongoing clock. I'm gonna do your transitions for you. You guys, I, for those of you who know what the Warrior Days is, I, I understand that you know you should be getting two reps, three reps, four reps per exercise. Obviously, you're gonna get that goal. You're gonna aim to get that many reps, but it's gonna be time. And this is how the time's gonna work. We're gonna do a stationary run in place. And reminder, don't, if, if you think you know what the Warrior Days is, still pay attention, because we're doing it a lot different. Don't just think, oh, I know what I'm doing. Tell me the exercises. So we're gonna do a stationary run in place. If you guys have a step up, feel free to use it, but this is about the metabolic part. We're always gonna start with the metabolic part. Instead of finishing with it, we're gonna start with it. So we're gonna do that stationary run between 10 and 15 seconds, and then we're gonna go to the next exercise, which is the shortest time exercise. It's your two rep. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sets of three seconds. So in order, we're gonna be doing that run in place. The next exercise is gonna be dumbbell or regular push-ups. You can go to the knees if you need to. We're gonna be doing three seconds of push-ups. That means you might get one, you might get two. You're probably not gonna go for three, otherwise you'll be doing quick crunches. So the goal is to get two, but if you don't get two, you get one, that's fine. As you do that, hop up and do a push press. So now we're gonna be here. So now we're here. Hip, bend the hip up, that's six seconds worth. You might get more than three, that's fine. You're getting six seconds worth. Then, elbows down, we're gonna go bicep curls. That is for nine seconds. Now you're getting the deal, it's three seconds added per exercise. From that, weights are down, we're done with the weights. We have a squat jump, that is 12 seconds of squat jumps. From there, we're gonna go into knee grab rows, and this is gonna be a lot of core on the ground. The rows with the elbows on the way back, that's 15 seconds. Then we're gonna roll over to our hands. We got mountain climbers for 18 seconds. Afterwards, you're gonna go back on your butt and we have TFW twist, body weight. It's quick, back and forth, back and forth. Roll into a leaning back toe touch. That one's 24 seconds. You can see how this gets a little harder. And then we're gonna have a nice break. We have a plank hold, but we're gonna alternate one leg back and forth with the raise. That's 27 seconds. And then our final one, oh, sit outs. One round of them at the very top of that peak, and that's 30 seconds of sit outs, all right? Hey, you're not doing each whole set every round. We're gonna be taking one exercise and working way back. So we have a stationary run for just a set by itself. Then we're gonna go right back to the stationary run and then add the push up. And then the next set will be stationary run, push up, push, pre push press. Then we're gonna go stationary run, push up, push press, curl. And then we're gonna keep on adding another exercise all the way to 10 and all the way back down. So this is a long one. This is gonna last about 30 minutes of constant movement. Guys, on Zoom, guys on YouTube, the clock's gonna be running. I'm gonna do a consistent job of doing this. Take a break when you need to, and then just pick up wherever we are, all right? There's gonna be a small break for you guys to transition. I'm not gonna be like, clock's on, switch. It's gonna be kind of like that, but you're gonna have a little bit of time to switch yourself up. The order is pretty simple. I'll keep on reminding you of what's going on. Remember, after the stationary run, the first three exercises, the first three rounds are with dumbbells, all right? So, for those people on Zoom, get yourself moving real quick. I know we just sat there and listened for two minutes, so get yourself moving, get your heart rate up, grab a pair of dumbbells. I'm gonna do my best job of repeating myself over and over again. I'm really good at that and talking a lot to remind you what's next, all right? So we're gonna start that stationary run, but when you're done, you stop for a second, catch your breath. We're gonna go right back into stationary run because we always start with the first exercise and we work to the next few, all right? 
So dumbbells are nearby. We're not using them right away. This is on my time. So let's get rolling. Stationary run to start. In three, two, and one. This is all out right here. Get your arms in a rhythm, get your feet blasted. This is gonna be always 10 to 15 seconds. It'll start to shorten up as we get down there. Keep going though. We got five more seconds. I know this part's easy. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Three, two, and one. We got nothing real quick. We're gonna go back to the stationary run, then the push up, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Stationary run again. Arm action, arm action. When you're done this, get yourself right into that three seconds of push ups, all right? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Here we go in two, one. We got push ups. Ready, set, go. It's only three seconds worth. Try to get at least two. Ready, stop. All right. Hop back up. We're going to go back to the stationary run, go back to the push up, then we're going to go to the push press. Ready, set, go. Stationary run. Arm action, arm action. For those of you who came to the stationary run, if it's hurting your shins, do the butt kicker. Get yourself moving though. Right from here, we're gonna go back to the push up. Two, one, we got three seconds of push ups. Get after it. Clock starts now. Ready, and hop up. We got six seconds of push press. Ready, go. As many as you guys can. And two, one, relax. Weights go back down and go back to that stationary run again. Here we go. Three, two, one, stationary run. Reminder, the first few exercises are fast because there's not much time involved. We're gonna go to that push up in three, two, and one. Clock starts right now. And time, hop up, ready, and push press. From here, we're gonna transition right to curls. I'll tell you when. Two, one, weights down, curls. This is now for nine seconds. This is gonna get a lot longer now. And three, two, and one, relax. Weights go down. All right, now we're getting the pace. We're going back to that stationary run. Take a deep breath, ready, go. Got us. <laughs> keep it up, guys, keep it up. That transition's gonna be pretty quick. We're gonna go into that push-up in two, one. Start those push-ups right now. Two, one, hop up. We're going into that push press. Ready, set, go. Get a rhythm, get a rhythm. Two, one, stop, curls, go. Nine seconds. From here, weights go down. We have squat jumps right afterwards. So drop those, that weight in three, two, one. Weights down, we got squat jumps. Hands behind your back, jump up. This is 12 seconds worth, the clock's already running. Land low each time. If you can't jump, go to a calf raise. But keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. All right. Now we're getting the pace down. We're going back to that stationary run. Take a deep breath. Ready, set, go. Breathe out, get a rhythm, get a rhythm. This is your chance to get your heart rate up high and then control it through the exercises. Three, two, one. We're going to that push up. Ready and begin. It's three seconds, it's quick. And done. Hop up, push, press, ready, on. We're gonna switch out of these in three, two, one. Curls, breathe out, control. It's not about speed, it's about controlling the lift. Keep going. Two, one. All right, now we are into those squat jumps. Clock is on. 12 seconds worth. Guys, once you're done, take a seat. We're gonna go into those knee grab rows. In three, two, one. Sit down, knee grab rows. Clock starts right now. 15 seconds. Breathe out, elbows back on the way up. Exhale and row. Think of it like a fluid movement. Elbows go back as the feet come in. Keep going, we got five more seconds. Come on, come on. Two, one, all right. Hop on back up. Remember guys, if you're at your own pace, you can cut out an exercise and join us whenever you need to. We're starting back in three, two, one. Stationary movements. I know we're used to going really, really fast, but right now it's a tempo. You're trying to maintain a high heart rate. Let's go. We're gonna go into those push-ups in three, two, one. Push up. Ready and hop up. We got push press. Clock is on right now. Bend the knees, extend the hips. 
in three, two, curls. Drop the weights, get in it. Weights are lowered, hitting your shoulders each time. Get a good rhythm, get a good rhythm. We are going into that squat jump in three, two, one. Squat jump, 12 seconds. Clock is running, so you guys are ready when you're ready. Come on. Breathing out. Nice jumps, man, way to get all the way up. Guys, looking good. Two, one. You guys into that knee grab row again. Take a seat. Ready, set, go. Knee grab with that row. Exhale, 15 seconds. When you're done, we are flipping over right to mountain climbers. It's a rollover. Don't switch your whole body. Just do a quick little roll and get it. Ready, three, two, one. Roll over, right in it. Mountain climbers. Get those hands under your shoulders, drive those knees out. Clock is running, guys. This is 18 seconds. Get a good rhythm, push your arms way up, get your chest out of the way, and drive. Let's go. This is a long one. Come on, come on. And three, two, one. All right. Hop up, take one deep breath. We're gonna get back to that running in place. You got this, guys. Welcome back to Warrior Days. Come on. Three, two, one. Get back at it. Find your rhythm. If your knees don't go so high because your hips are hurting, that's fine, but move your feet, pick up your feet, and swing the arms. We're gonna go back to that push-up in three, two, one, hit it. Clock starts now. And hop up. Get in your rhythm. Clock starts with those push presses. Hey, it's, it's going, it's rolling. We're gonna go to those curls in two and one. Weight goes to the bottom part, and now we're curling. You need to start to get a good rhythm here, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. Two, one, weights down, squat jump. After squat jump, we're gonna go back to the mat for knee grab rows. Keep it up, guys, this is 12 seconds, time to work. Don't think just one more, think fluid, think consistent movement. Two, one, take a seat. We got knee grab row, breathe out on the way up, clock is on. Find a rhythm right now. You wanna get in a pace that you can control and you can breathe with a tempo. Five seconds, we're gonna flip over to mountain climbers. Two, one, flip over. Mountain climbers, this is 18 seconds straight. Hit it. Keep breathing. From mountain climbers, you're gonna go right back to your butt. You're gonna roll over and go into TFW twist body weight. Grab your fingers, make a fist, and then small movements. We're gonna get that TFW twist in three, two and one roll right over quick small movements remember your body stays upright the elbows and the hands move but your shoulders and neck and spine stay straight get in the rhythm here feet are up if you can come on keep going this one's 21 seconds and three two and one hop on back up take a deep breath hey the next exercise we're adding is going to be toe touches a lot of core going on in the upper middle part of this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, hit it. Get a groove on, keep the shoulders away from your neck. Don't start to be tense here. It's gonna be relaxed and smooth, relax your face. Three, two, push up for three seconds. Try to get at least two in. Ready and go. If it's one, it's one. Hop up right now. We're going push press. Weights on your shoulders, clock's running. Bend the knees and the hips, use your legs, guys. Two, one, curls, weights down. My people that are in a good roll, if you can count your reps and you wanna only do two and three, you can switch when you're ready. Three, two, squat jumps, weights down. Hit it, 12 seconds. Breathe out, drive up. Land low, make sure the knees don't cave. Get your knees out on the land. And three, two, knee grab rows. Get in it. Breathe out. Keep control. Zoom. You guys are doing great, 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 great job with these transitions. All right, we're gonna go knee grab rows to mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Flip over. Nice pace, Nancy. There you go, Jen. Come on. You got the smell, Megan. I don't see you, but I, I think you're doing it. Keep it up. We're gonna go into mountain climbers. From that, we're gonna be in that TFW twist in three, two, one. Twists. Lean back a little bit, arms are controlled. From here, we're gonna be going back down, legs up to toe touch. Not yet, we got plenty more time. Keep going. Breathe out, keep controlling. In three, 
two, one. Don't rush these guys. Work on a slow movement that gets your upper back off the ground. The clock's already running. You guys are slowly trying to get your shoulders and your mid back off the ground. Exhale while you reach those legs straight up. Come on. Keep a pace, keep a pace. Any movement's good, just breathe out throughout it. Let's go, let's go. Keep that low back down. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, bring yourself back up. We're taking a 10 second break before we get rolling again. Take a deep breath. We're gonna get that stationary run going on in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Find that spot. Get the heart rate up, guys. Come on. Three, two, push up. Ready and up. Push press. It's six seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Curls. Shoulder blades down. Hey, if you need to start swinging, that's okay, but make sure the shoulders are in a good position and the hips are moving. Come on. Three, two, one, squat jump. Weights down, start getting those jumps in. We got 12 seconds, the clock's running. We are at five seconds so far, so keep going. From here, we're gonna go to that knee grab row in two, one. We got the knee grab row. Breathe out on the way up. This is 15 seconds. Find a pace that you guys are consistent with and you can actually handle, let's go. From here, we're gonna go into that mountain climber in five, three, Two and one. Go ahead. Find your pace. Hey, remember, knees are super low to the ground. Shift your weight forward. Get after this. Nice work, guys. Come on. Come on. Three seconds. Two, one. Flip over. We got twists. Keep those feet up. Shoulder blades down. Elbows. Your elbows are pushing into your hips. Keep them low away from your neck. Keep breathing, guys. Find your pace. From here, we're gonna go back to toe touch and then we're gonna add the plank in. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay back, toe touch, feet up. Clock is on, 24 seconds here. Breathe out and get in the rhythm. You're trying to get those hands to go from your chin to your toes, chin to toes, keep it up. Come on. Halfway, keep going, keep going. Legs are up there. It's a small movement. Just get the shoulders off the ground. It's a crunch. Come on. From this, we're gonna roll over into a low plank. Three, two, one. Elbows down, hands down, hips equal to shoulder height. And then we're gonna slowly raise opposite leg each time. It's an alternating leg raise. Go slow, keep the hips level, control your breath. This is your break and fast movements. Keep going. It's 27 seconds long, we're 15 seconds in. We're doing great, guys, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, hop on back up. We're taking 10 seconds to get ourselves kind of adjusted before we go back into that stationary run. This is your time to grind. This is a full round. We're gonna be finishing with sit outs. This is the one that matters the most. Move through it. Here we go, guys, three, Two, one, grind out guys. Come on, let's go Warriors, keep it up. From here we have those push-ups. And three, two, one, drop in, clock's running. Ready and up, push press, come on. Six seconds worth. Bend the knees, bend the hips. Two, one, curls. Strong base, get the feet apart, feel your core brace, come on. Two. One, squat jumps, weight down. Wide legs each time, don't let those knees cave. Feet out. If you can't do the jumps, squat to calf raise. Get yourself moving. Two, one, sit down, knee grab rows. Breathe out on the way up, elbows back. Feet touch the ground on the way up. Nice rhythm, guys. There you go, Megan. There you go, Jen, let's go. Nancy, keep that pace, keep those legs down together. Two, one. Mountain climbers. Clock's on. There you go, Mel. Try to keep those elbows not locked out, soft elbows. From here, we're gonna go into TFW twist, but we're not yet. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Three, two, one, twists. This is a long one, it's 21 seconds. Find the pace, pull the shoulder blades away from your neck, make sure you're stabilized and keep rolling. If the feet need to go down, that's fine too. We are past halfway, keep it up. Reminder what's next, we have toe touches, which means you're just gonna lay back. In three, two, one. Feet up, back down, breathe out on the way up. Let's go. <laughs> nice Nike shoes, Jen, I see them, you're sporting them. Nice shoelaces there. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Come on. Good pace, Mel. Let's go, Nancy. Nice pace. Keep going. Megan Roberts, that's great. Two, one. Flip back over. We are in that plank. When you're consistent, hey, if you need to do a regular plank just to breathe, that's fine. But if you can, you're trying to do that op opposite leg raise. We're on our elbows. There you go, Meg. I, I figured I'd tell you because that's way harder to be on your hands. Back and forth, those leg raises are back and forth, slowly pulsing. Shift your weight forward, guys. We have seven more seconds, and then we're gonna get into those sit-outs. Hands, if you can't do sit-outs, sub it out for bicycle crunches. Three, two, one, sit-outs. Back and forth, hands under the shoulders, kick and swing, clock starts now. Breathe out, find your pace. If you're doing the bicycle crunch, really reach across. For my people doing the sit-outs, get those knees close to your body. Pivot off the front half of your foot, jump and switch. Come on, we are halfway. This is the only sit out you're doing today. This is the only set. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. We are taking a 20 second break real quick. Catch your breath. We are doing a coaching substitute for a quick second. I'm hopping in. I'm not warmed up. <laughs> All right, 10 more seconds. Take a deep breath. We're starting out with those stationary runs. Get your arms pumping. Remember, if you can't do stationary runs, just do block kickers. Get your heart rate up by bouncing. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. We're moving. We're moving nice and light. Keep your vision straight ahead. Don't kick your neck up. We're gonna transition to those push ups in three, two, one. Hands down, push ups. Ready and up. Hop your feet up. We're going into that push press. Four more seconds. Three, two, one. Curls, weights down. Find your pace. This is nine seconds. From curls, we have squat jumps. Three, two, one. Weights down. Set yourself up. Feet apart, knees apart, hands go back each time. Let's go. From here, we got knee grab rows. In two, one, let's hit it. Come up each time. This one is even longer. Find your pace. Feet touch each time, elbows go back. We got mountain climbers. In three, two, and one. Flip it in. Find your pace, 18 seconds here. Shift your weight forward, guys. Keep going. Mountain climbers are going to go back to TFW twists in five, four, three, two, and one. Toe touch. Breathe out. Those legs are straight up, and your shoulders are leaving the ground each time. Keep going. You got some shit on your uh, <laughs> What? Three. Two, and planks. Elbows down, opposite leg each time. Alternate, slow and easy. This is the last exercise where you're not doing sit-outs. Keep it up. We are right about halfway. Three. Two, and one. All right, guys, we are now taking that plank out. Our last exercise will be toe touches. Take a deep breath. We got about 10 seconds. Remember, this is really time. You take time off if you need to and join back up with us when you need to, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Get after it. Stationary run. And three. Two, push up. 
Try to get at least two, that's what we're looking for. Ready and up, we got that push press. Three, two, curls. Rotate control, keep your vision and your chest up. Three, two, one, squat jump. Remember, land with your feet wide. Think of it like you're squatting. If your feet aren't wide enough to be in a squat, then you're not set up right. Keep going, keep going. Two, one, knee grab row, get down. Breathe out on the way up. We are doing great. Find that grind, guys. I know we're tired, we're out of breath. It's just your muscles working every rep. Breathe out, let's go. Three, two, mountain climbers, flip it over. This is you just breathing and working. Come on, find your rhythm, find a pace you can just keep going with. After mountain climbers, we're gonna go back to TFW twists, but keep going here, we're not done yet. Three, two, one, twists. Good posture, pull the elbows down below your shoulders and start rotating. Quick, quick, quick. Spine stays stable, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. We're gonna go into toe touches, and then that last one is the toe touch, and we're done this set. In three, two, one. Flip on over to your back. Come on. Halfway. Keep working, guys, keep working. Three, two, and one. We are well on our way back down. Keep it up. Stand up fast, get yourselves up. Take a deep breath, compose yourself. Get back after it. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Stationary run. Find that pace. We're gonna switch from this into that push, pr uh, push up in two and one. Hop up right now, push press. From push press, we have the curl in two, one. Keep going. Then the weights go down and go back to that squat jump. Shoulders back, chest up, and squat jumps. Good pace, guys. Come on, this is your time to just work and move. How much can you take? Come on. Two, one, knee grab rows. Breathe out, heels touch the ground on the way up, elbows go back. There's the pad. <laughs> Keep it up. In three, two, mountain climbers, flip it over. Find a pace, shift your weight forward. Stop crunching the shoulders, let your chest do the work, all right, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got twists in three, two, one, T-A-W twists. Cross those feet maybe the opposite way this time. Keep moving, keep moving guys. Don't want these exercises to be your time to recover. Blast it, let's go. Come on, we got, this is the last one, this is the last one in two, one, done. I gotta start Xing out the exercises. I'm gonna make you guys do all of them all over again. We are now at our last exercise this time will be mountain climbers. We are well on our way down. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, time to grind. Hit it. You're chasing the weekend, get after it, let's go. Come on, five seconds, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, push-ups. Get two in and hop up. You got that push press. Breathe out, use your legs, come on. Three, two, one, curls, weights down. If you need to swing them, I don't care about that, that's fine, but make sure it's a hip hinge and not like your back's doing all the work. Squat jump in two, one, weights down, get after this. Come on, come on. Find that energy you got left in you. Come on. We're going from here to knee grabs and mountain climbers in two, one. We got back to the knee grab. 15 seconds, get after this, guys. 
Remember, both legs are gonna work together. Control it. If you need to slow it down, you need to slow it down, but do them right, come on. Afterwards, we are gonna flip over into that mountain climber and come on, three, two, one. Mountain climbers. This is the last exercise before we take that small break, so get after this, guys. This is your last time doing these mountain climbers. Make them fast. Drive low to the ground. Keep the hands on the shoulders. Dig in. Come on. Three, two, one. Hop up. We are close to the finish. Last exercise, this next round is the knee grab row. We're keep on taking them away. All right, let's get after it. Three, two, and one. Hit it. Push up, ready, hop up, push press. Two, one, curl. Three, two, one, squat jump. Hands go back each time, this is the hard part. Can you land perfect and get right back in it? Let's go. Few more. Two, one, knee grab row. This is the last exercise. Get after it. Keep working. We're past halfway. Keep working. Keep working. And time. All right, guys, we are gonna, we're coming down to the last few exercises. Your arms are gonna get tired right now because we're gonna see the lifts happen more often or quicker, I mean. So, push through it, drop weight if you need to. We're starting in 10 seconds. This little bit of break is all, it's not there just to make it easier for you. It's so you can push yourself harder right here. This is now faster pace. Let's go in two, one, pick it up, pick it up. This is what you work for, push it. From here, we'll be going to that push-up. Try to keep the shoulder blades away from the ears. Get one or two good ones, even if it's on your knees. Three, two, one, push-up. And up, push press. Don't cheat out early, come on, come on. And curl. From curls, we have our last one, which is gonna be that squat jump. And squat jump. This is your last time doing these jumps. Grab onto that ceiling, punch the wall above you. Let's go. Wake your house up. They should already be awake. Come on. Three, two, one. All right, we are down to all dumbbell work right now. Take one deep breath. Tell yourself you can get through this, all right? Into the storm, let's go. Into the roar. <laughs> Two, one, go. Find that pace. Get the feet down fast. Push your feet down fast. Get yourself upright. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Push up. And up. We got push press. Three, two, curl. This is your last curls. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two, one, down. We're getting right back in it, guys. We're right there, we're right there. Ready, set, go, come on. Keep yourself moving, keep yourself moving. This is great. Two, one, push up. For all I know, you guys are just recording yourself the first round and you're just gonna keep on, keep it on a loop. Go. Push press, Push press, sorry, I was talking. Three, two, one, weights down. We got two more sets. We have running in place, push up, then just running in place. All right, ready and on. Come on, come on. I said 10 to 15 seconds. These are longer now. The last ones are 15. Let's go, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, get your two push-ups in. Final time, we're going right back to those stationary runs. Hit it, hit it. Clock's on for 15 seconds. Whatever you got left in the tank, get it out right now. Come on. 
Fast pace, fast pace, all out. Five seconds in three, two, one. All right, let's check our pulse, people. Let's check it. Ready. Go. Stop. 18, that was a high one. People on Zoom, you guys were great. I know you couldn't even see the exercises. You just had to do it through me. Same thing with my YouTubers. You guys all, this was awesome. Amanda, you did great, minus you owe us a set. So try. You, you, you owe us a set. <laughs> no, you guys, you were all good. So, we're not just gonna say bye. We're gonna touch our breath. We're gonna take about a minute and a half off just to get our heart rates down before we start to cool down. There's no finisher, that was it. I'm gonna unmute you guys. I see, it looks like there's Todd in the picture, but it's Megan. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys. That was, that was not easy. I did one round and I was like, I'm out. <laughs> that was the coolest one I've done in forever. That was awesome. I think because there was no break. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I will say you guys had to know these exercises without seeing a board, just get after it. Awesome job. That was really fun, fun to watch and, and coach. Great job keeping us on, on task. Oh yeah. I didn't know what was next, that was helpful. Look, I almost put a hole in my mat with my mountain climber. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're Burn. meant for mountain climbers. Burning rubber. I love it. Yeah, hey. they're good. <laughs> You're cute how you don't blame the animals for putting a hole in it. Okay. Hey. Beast feed down here last time I brought it down. So he's evicted. Hey, guys. Yeah. We're going to check our pulse again. It's been a minute and a half, maybe a little bit longer than that. So let's see how much it dropped. Here we go. Three, two, count. Stop. We at? Same. <laughs> Same. It's still up there, Amanda. It's been forever. Wow. wow. Awesome. What was, what was Amanda's? Amanda went from 18 to 10. Holy smokes. Good I think she skipped a few beats. That's awesome. Never <laughs> proud of Amanda. That's Never elite conditioning right there. That's what happens when you do all the workouts for recordings. <laughs> Guys, we are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna re-mute the Zoom people. We're gonna do a nice cool down, then we'll unmute you guys and talk later. But we are, take a seat. If you wanna get your camera angle on the ground, that will be best for me to help cue you guys the best, all right? All right, so first thing we're gonna do is, yeah, take a seat. We're gonna just take one knee, bring it to your chest. The other leg though is actually gonna be off the ground. So when we're doing this, keep, the opposite leg a few inches off the ground. What that's gonna do is it's gonna keep your hips level. Instead of sinking and relaxing and turning your core off, keeps everything tight and allows you to pull the right way. Keep holding there. And then switch when you're ready. Reminder about the breath intake. You guys are trying to take deep, slow breaths in as well as out. <sighs> Drop the heart rate down easy. <laughs> My eyeballs are sweating because I'm there. All right, the next one you guys are gonna do is just take one foot, plant it on the ground, take the opposite ankle, hook it around the knee. And we don't like to push anymore. Don't push your knee down. Actively turn that muscle on that rotates your knee away from your body. So your muscles are pushing that knee away from you. Then take your hands, lock it around the opposite shin or hammy, and then pull that up towards you. Holy crap, it's 10.50. That's a long one. <laughs> when you're ready, guys, go ahead and switch. I don't know how I'm gonna do this at two and coach it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and grab that leg again, lift it up if you haven't already. All right, then you can just relax your legs we're gonna do an ISO hamstring. So just lean, sit yourself up, tuck one leg in and reach for one leg. If you can't do that reach, that's fine. Take your hands behind your body and push yourself forward. Or continue to lay there, Mel, you're fine. <laughs> All right, push or pull yourself forward and then go ahead and switch when you're ready.
From there, we're gonna go into a pigeon stretch. So it's like the 90-90, the hook one leg into the 90 degree angle in front of you, the other leg back around you in the 90 degree angle. We'll have a man to show that real quick. One leg in front of you, one leg behind you, hook them in at 90 degree angles, and then just stay upright for a second. What you wanna do when you're upright, you don't wanna fold over, collapse, and turn your muscles off. Upright, get your posture there. Feel your hips try to sink into the ground, not because you're turning everything off, but you can for apply force that way. Then, keeping your back flat. Now fold forward like a deadlift. This is not your time to just fall asleep and turn the core off. Pull yourself down. Feel everything actively there. If your knees hurt, flex your ankles. Your ankles are also at 90 degrees. The knees are at 90, the ankles are at 90. Afterwards, you can lean back for a second if you wanna get the back hip a little bit, and then you can go ahead and reverse it. Sit upright, find your posture. Maybe your hip doesn't go down as far that side. Figure out why. Kind of loosen up your low back and then fall forward, not again, because you're turning things off, because you're doing that deadlift type of bend. More hinge. All right, next one's gonna be your quad. What we're gonna do is you can roll, you can just lay on your side, like the, uh, the side leg raise, you're doing the warm up. And then you're just gonna grab your ankle and pull it back. Remember, your foot does not point away from your body. Your toe flexes back towards the knee. And then get that knee of the leg that you're pulling back, get that behind your opposite leg. Feel yourself stretch out while keeping your body upright. Think of yourself like a pencil, don't lean forward, and get that knee back behind you. When you're ready to switch sides, go ahead. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go back to that sprinter lunge. So go ahead, you guys are gonna face forward. Put your hands down, swing one leg outside of your hands. This time, we're gonna try to raise, Amanda, can you show us from a side angle? We're gonna try to raise the back knee off the ground an inch. So what we're gonna do here, without coming up, Amanda's upper body does not wanna come high. We're just trying to straighten out the back leg without lifting the hips too high. So that knee is off the ground now. Just a little bit, yep. And while you're there, try to stay low while keeping the knee down. And then when you're done that, drop the knee back down and bring your upper body up tall and stretch out your stomach. As you finish that up, go ahead and switch sides. Put the hands back down, switch those legs. You can lean forward to start, find a good strong position. And then we're gonna to try to raise the, bot, the back leg off the ground, but not bring the hips up. Hips stay low, shift your weight forward. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. All right, afterwards, drop that knee back down, raise yourself back up. And then we got one more stretch for you guys. So, there you go. <laughs> I was not supposed to explain it. You can go to your knee for that if you want, or your foot. This is gonna be that inside groin. You can go to your feet or your knees. I like to go to my one knee and do it. I'll manage for that one, I'll show my version. I'm gonna be on my knee and do it. I'm gonna go to my knee and do it this way. You can absolutely do it on your foot either, but I like this one. Both sides. YouTubers, awesome job today. I'll catch you all. Have a great weekend. Hopefully you guys are staying hydrated after that one. Peace.